This week we had a challenge. We had a front porch welcome sign challenge. Kim challenged me to make a better welcome sign. So I did. Oh. But, oh. <laughs> but I also had audio challenges, video challenges, project challenges, third time's a charm. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. This week, we're doing a versus challenge. I wanted some new door decor, and Garrett was less than thrilled, but said, wait a minute. Well, there was a lot of ribbons involved. There was a lot, was of, a lot of pastels of and paints, and I didn't want to paint, and I didn't want a ribbon. I'm making my own welcome sign. It's and just it a had little to bit be bigger. bigger it's just a little bit bigger. <laughs> size doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, so we've got two completely different techniques for you. Two completely different techniques. I'm going to paint mine and add a little accent piece to it and a ribbon. It's gonna be really cute. And what are you doing with yours, Mr. I'm gonna use some ammonium chloride to burn my image into my my board. I told him, but you know what? That's not a welcome sign. Oh. So he went back and he took his image and he added... I added welcome. He added welcome to the front, so it was door decor. <laughs> welcome. All right. So I already made my stencil. I already weeded it, put all my transfer tape on it. Now I'm scared to put it on the board. Yes. <laughs> and, get, and get started. So all I right. guess that's it. Step one. Step. I'm putting my stencil on the board. All right, step one for me is to put a first coat of paint. I'm gonna put two layers of paint because I'm gonna ultimately sand the top coat and have it a distressed look so you can see the brown behind it. So I'll start with the brown layer and Garrett will attempt to put his stencil on. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Nothing is serious business. It's down. <laughs> Okay, the brown is dry to touch. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add the top layer on of the ivory, which is this bare decorative chalk paint in Pale Moon. Now, how are you doing over there? And I'm gonna continue to work on getting my stencil down. <laughs> <laughs> but once this is down, it's yeah. gonna go real fast. It'd be flying then. It'd be real fast. All right, stencil is on, looking beautiful, but the dog sat on the cord and knocked the microphone cord out. And mine is dry and looks beautiful too. Oh yeah, yours looks beautiful too, babe. Time for some alchemy. I'm gonna take a tablespoon of ammonium chloride, like a good old heaping tablespoon, and I'm gonna put it in a half a cup of warm water. Then I'm gonna take some thicken up and I'm gonna use this tiny scoop and put four tiny scoops into the little concoction. Remember, pinky's out, pinky's out. It's a tiny scoop, <laughs> tiny scoop. I'm just gonna mix this up and get it all thick, thick like pudding. All right. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, keep your project on your side, babe. <laughs> keep your project on your side. I'm going to go ahead and distress mine. I'm just trying to uh, rough it up enough so that the brown shows through. And there's my pudding. See how thick it is? Oh, it's so thick like pudding. But remember, don't eat it. And I'm still sanding. Still sanding, still sanding. 
I'm just brushing my concoction, my ammonium chloride on the raw wood. Now I'm just going to use one and a quarter inch brads to attach my high sign. The nail, not the guy. <laughs> Babe, one more for good luck. One more. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Now I'm going to make a star bow. Here I'm just stacking ribbons assortment of ribbons, 10 to 14 inches long, and then I'm gonna group and tie them together with a wreath wire. Floral wire? Floral wire. And then I'm gonna dovetail the ends because I forgot to do that before I tied it all together. All right, I'm taking off the stencil. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Now I'm going to use the heat gun to burn that solution into the wood. And I'm attaching my bow with a quarter inch brad nail. The nail, right. not the guy. Right to the board. Alright, time for some burning. Right about here, we're starting to realize. Welcome! I have a welcome sign. All right, back to the drawing board. I'm gonna try this again. All right, I got the stencil on again. Now I'm gonna go throw a coat of clear coat on it. Two coats, actually. All right, clear coat's all dry. Time to remove the stencil. All right, the stencil is finally off and the clear coat is on there so you can't see anything. Now back to the alchemy. I got my mixture, but instead of four tiny scoops, I just put in two tiny scoops to make it more like paint. More like paint, less like water. I still don't want it to be all watery. All right, now I'm gonna paint the whole surface with my concoction. I'm just gonna hit it with the heat gun all over this jam, all over it. Should I keep going? I mean, you can't even see the E. No, I don't think so. Still not working. <clears throat> Show them your test piece though. Show them what worked beautifully. So I'm not doing this all willy nilly. I tried it on a test piece. <laughs> Look how good the test piece came out. Oh, those edges are crisp. I did the same method on this board, but it looks like it's still bled. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Maybe this is a softer wood. All right, I got the stencil on it again. I'm gonna take it outside and hit it with some Rust-Oleum Glossy Enamel. And I'm gonna, I'll be right back in. It's just about dry. I'm gonna peel the stencil off again. All right, all the stencil is off. You can barely see the gloss. All right, now I'm gonna do little sections. I got my ammonium chloride mix. I just put a tablespoon and a warm half cup of water. 
I got my brush. I'm going to start with the little mountain bike guy. Do small sections. There's the mountain biker. Not to do the, uh, not to do the whole thing. All right. That's what we got so far. Now we're done. Just gonna attach a chain hanger. There's my chain, bike chain, of course. Match the bike. She's using some one inch screws through the chain. All right, there, there we go. Where's yours, babe? You forget about it? It's been so long, you forgot that you made one. Yes, so true. All right, all done, it looks good. Wait, no. All right, all done, it looks, no. Oop. There we are. <laughs> all done, looks good. Mine finally came out, like three times, but it finally came out. It's okay. I got a little hasty, a little hasty with the, the heat gun in some spots, but I feel like it gives it character. Yes, gives but that was character. commitment. The time, the time he spent to make a remake and remake this thing, it took all week. It's all for the win. I'll so, you guys vote down below in the comments and let us know who made the better front porch welcome sign. First try Kim. Or a third time's a charm, Garrett, <laughs> with his bomb ass burning techniques. <laughs> Alright, good job, babe. Good job.